They will know we are Christians by our love. Love manifests itself in generosity. God's Word directs us to show our concern for hurting brothers and sisters through prayer. And on a practical level, we show our care through giving. There are many needs around the world. The Salvation Army's ministry focus within the Christian Church is to meet the needs of those who are suffering physically. When a person's physical needs are met, they are more open to accepting spiritual truths. Throughout Scripture, there's a mandate to help the poor and those in need. In Deuteronomy 15, it says, If there is a poor man among your brothers in any of the towns of the land that the Lord your God is giving you, do not be hard-hearted or tight-fisted toward your poor brother. Rather, be open-handed and freely lend him whatever he needs. Give generously to him and do so without a grudging heart. Then, because of this, the Lord your God will bless you in all of your work and in everything you put your hand to. There will always be poor people in the land. Therefore, I command you to be open-handed toward your brothers and toward the poor and needy in your land. As we are obedient to God's word and give freely to those in need, the result is joy. I went to Kenya summer of 2006. I could only really bring one suitcase, but I still, in that one suitcase, had more than probably any of these three kids put together. And as we were playing and singing songs, I was standing with one girl. So as we were getting ready to leave, I kicked off one of my shoes and told her to put it on. And we were walking together, each with one shoe on. And right before we got in the car, I just kicked my other shoe off and had her put it on, gave her a hug and got in the car. Her name was Violet and she came back to the window, made me roll it down and just gave me a hug and said thank you and walked away. Um, so I was barefoot, but it was, just impactful to know that I could help her in a very, very simple way. God puts it on the hearts of those old and young to have compassion toward others. In Africa, there are um, children who are forced into labor. I found out about it because my mom, she found a site and she told us that we were going to um, not put chocolate in our Easter baskets because the chocolate was made from cocoa beans, what the children were forced to do. Well, me and my friends at After School, we made petitions and we wrote letters and we also made videos and we sent it all to all the um, chocolate companies that sell the labor chocolate. And we did fundraisers, we did um, bake sales, we did carnivals, and the money that we made from all of that we sent to Africa. The tithing process in India is really cool. I like it a lot. Instead of giving 10% of their money, they give 10% of whatever they do have. And, and most of the time, that's their rice. People will come to the church with a bag of rice. And when it's time to give the offering or after the service, they'll come up and empty it into a big bowl in the front of the church. And then the rice that's in that bowl then goes to support the core officers and, and their family. And so then they can take some of the income that they get from the army and share their money with the people in the community. Coming back, I've just remembered uh, just the, that very small things can really impact very powerfully in other communities. And even here, it's not a big deal. You don't have to go to Africa to give your shoes away. <laughs> Well, now I see that it's kind of hard for other children and, like I said, not to take stuff for granted and to just try to help people as much as you can because you don't know what they're going through. One thing that, that really was a, was a blessing to me and to our team in, when we were in India is that the joy in the communities is, is just overflowing and it extends to all the people, old and young. The joy didn't come from the fact that they could give or that they had stuff that they could give. The joy came because they were able to use the stuff that they had to worship Christ through giving. 
and they were able to share with each other. They were able to build their community for Christ by giving, and that's where their joy came from. Donations given in self-denial for world services help to meet real needs around the world and support a variety of programs and projects in the Salvation Army. There is joy and hope as needs are met, but the needs are ongoing. For example, at the Howard Hospital in Zimbabwe, patients are crammed into rooms, medical equipment is outdated, and a lack of space makes it difficult to keep medications separated. With Insight is a nearly completed new hospital building, just waiting for the funds to complete the project so it can open. If, in self-denial, you gave up the cost of your cable bill, projects like the Howard Hospital could be completed. If anyone has material possessions and sees his brother in need, but has no pity on him, how can the love of God be in him?